What is up guys, Rudy here, and today we're going to be checking out the Genesis Chain Auto Rifle, which is Solar Elemental Damage. And you also get this from doing the Vosik Challenge or the Axis Challenge, so you can get lucky if it drops on one of those two challenges right there. So let's get into it. So the rate of fire on this auto rifle is decent, it's good. The impact, by the way, is a little bit down there, but it will get the job done on this auto rifle. The range, on the other hand, is pretty up there and it's decent. Stability, on the other hand, it, it lacks a little bit, but you can control it. Reload is really good up there. It's a fast reload and you get the job done with this as well. So if you're in situations where you have to reload, this will get the job done. And if you're using a hand cannon, I'm sorry, use this auto rifle. It's really good in the raid and against Fallen. So let's get into the perks. Wilburn's Curse. Obviously this weapon will do damage against Fallen. Bonus damage, as I should say. And bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. So you're going to be a little bit faster, which is also good. So let's get into the perks that it has. Linear Compensator. More predictable recoil. Slightly boost to range and impact. And more recoil. Then we have Acres Ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil. Then we have Field Choke, more range and impact, increased recoil, which you lose a little bit of stability. That's why I would go with one of these two perks up here, because you don't lose any range or stability. So go with Linear Compensator or Acres Ballistics. So let's get into the good stuff right here on this gun. Focus Fire. When zoomed, this weapon will fire slower, but cause additional damage which is really good on this auto rifle it will help you against those fallen those pesky little pieces of shit just to get them out of the way this thing will do the job speed reload reload this weapon quickly which i don't really see any difference you might just see like nanoseconds of difference but you'd have to really test it out which i don't it's not worth testing because this weapon is already good at reloading it's fast enough and plus you're gonna lose range so I would not use this perk so we have high caliber rounds which will stagger your targets which is also good but you're gonna lose range so I would go with hammer forged more range and accuracy so you guys can decide but I would go with hammer forge and then the lovely perk, Focused Fire. While zoomed in or focused fire is active, precision kills cause the target to explode. So this perk will be active when you're zoomed in. So really, really lovely perk. So let's check out the fire rate before we zoom in. It's decent and it's fast. But i rather have the additional damage than shooting from the hip. So... Let's see the stability on this without controlling it or holding it. As you guys can see, it jumps a little bit to left and right, slow but steady. And you guys can get a good pattern, so if you guys aren't really good at controlling things, just aim a little bit lower and you're going to hit the target, so don't worry about that. And so let's control it just a little bit. I'm not going to really hold it, but we'll get there. So just trying to control it, just hold it in the middle, just holding it normally. You guys will see that you're going to get hit, hit your targets a lot better with this weapon. Even if you're trying to move around, it's okay, but you're still hitting the target that you need to hit. Which I would be tryharding this, but it's just a little review. So let's go see if we can find some enemies to check out that focus fire and see if they really explode when you zoom in. So you got some drags here. They're light level 350. And see the impact on that was 3,638 to the head. So, boom. Got him headshot. And that will leave the other splicers with a little bit of health. Because it's focus fire and it will explode when we do impact. Or get a crit headshot with them. Oh my god. So, the rate of fire and impact is decent on this weapon. You could use it. It's not bad. But the range, on the other hand, not so good. So it's really hard to hit that splice over there, but from the range, 
see how far, see how far the range was on that. I wasn't that far, and I still got 400 plus damage than it was from the other one. So yeah, I missed my shots right there, but whatever. Uh, my name is Rudy. I hope you guys like this quick little review on the Genesis chain, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.